So robotic myomectomy is a procedure using keyhole surgery to very precisely remove a fibroid or myoma from the uterus, leaving the uterus intact. And that, of course, maintains one's fertility potential so that you can have a pregnancy in the future. A robotic assisted myomectomy is suitable for anyone who has a symptomatic fibroid or fibroids. This is mainly done for women who have not yet have had children or who are intending to have children. But there's a significant number of women who just do not want to have a hysterectomy and want to preserve their uterus or womb. The use of robot-assisted laparoscopy to perform myomectomy has really revolutionized the recovery from this sort of operation. Traditional surgery tends to be very painful and associated with a prolonged recovery, sometimes lasting weeks or even months, with considerable bruising and risk of hematoma and other wound problems. And robotic surgery almost completely avoids this risk. And it really has revolutionized the procedure and the recovery from it. There are actually very few disadvantages to having robotic surgery uh, and a robotic myomectomy. Um, if one has a symptomatic fibroid, then there are probably potential benefits to be had. Uh, there's always a risk of hemorrhage with any um, surgery, and that includes myomectomy. Hemorrhage is the principal risk from this sort of surgery. Um, and of course, there are concomitant risks with any surgery at all. Uh, many women have had operations in the past, and this perhaps multiplies the risks. How long a robotic myomectomy takes depends very much on the size and the position of the fibroid or fibroids that need to be removed. Um, if they're on the surface of the uterus, what are called subserosal fibroids, the surgery to cut the fibroid from the rest of the womb can be very quick. Um, if it's more embedded deep within the wall of the womb, particularly on the posterior surface of the womb, that surgery to dissect the fibroid away from the rest of the womb can take some time. But actually what often takes longest, particularly for large fibroids, is to then divide up the fibroid into small pieces in a controlled manner and safely remove that through the small incisions so that one really gains the benefit of a keyhole operation. And that's done in a very controlled manner, removing the specimen within a thick-walled polythene bag uh, through a small incision somewhere on the tummy. I've been performing laparoscopic myomectomy for many years, often for quite big fibroids, but the use of robot-assisted surgery has helped even further to allow many more women the potential benefits of keyhole surgery. Uh, robotic surgery is particularly good for women of all shapes and sizes, and increasingly uh, it helps gain access to the pelvis, and sometimes fibroids can be removed from some extremely difficult uh, positions around the, the womb and around the cervix. Um, so the manipulation of the um, wristed instruments that are available on the da Vinci robot really do facilitate the dissection um, and enable even more people to benefit. And there are definite benefits over and above standard laparoscopic surgery. <laughs>